I have not used this deck in a while. This is the ancient um, Italian tarot deck, if anybody's interested. Love my Italian decks. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, show us um, the most dominant energy for today. If you guys are new, welcome. Getting a lot um, more people coming through to our channel. Okay, give me a dominant energy. For today. Big, bold vision. Big, bold vision. You were not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big. Even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what all the details may look like, you can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active, contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something, a vision, or an idea that is coming to you. You may worry that it is too much for you, but don't worry, it is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do, as you let go of your limited thinking and open to a fearless acceptance of bigger, brighter, more radical and more potent possibilities of creatively, creatively living your light in the world. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you're allowed to access so much wonder, but remember that in your healing and growing success as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. This is a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this. Even though it is your vision, it is not just about you. You are being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will follow your way at the right time and at the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This brings a message. You are about to receive or be invited to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you do not see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, leap. This also brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive sight. It is already happening. Trust in what you perceive. Even if it conflicts with what everybody else around you is saying 
or the surface of things. Trust your inner perceptions. They are accurate and they will be proven to be so later on. The sealing process below will help you with this also. This is a general message of positive energy. Trust that things will be coming up roses for you. Even if everything else is seeming to be in a bit of shambles right now, it's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. Okay, so some of you guys are removing roadblocks, obstacles that have been in your guys' way. Okay, let's put this here. Big, bold vision. This feels like Taurus energy. I'm going to really take my time. I'm feeling guided to really take my time today in this reading. So, as always, if you guys need to speed up the video, 1.25x, 1.5x, whatever you guys need to do. Okay. So, let's get some dominant energies, please. Tell us more about this big, bold vision. Could be releasing... Um, this feels like releasing attachment, stepping into your own creative energy. My karmic made me believe that you were evil. I need to take a step back first to figure out my feelings. Some of you guys are gifted or attached to somebody that is gifted, spiritually gifted. Okay. And I feel like you guys are putting aside what other people have. This could even just be you. You, you could have been holding yourself back spiritually because of what other people were going to say, what other people were thinking. This could have something to do with, um, for some of you guys, your guys' appearance. This figure in this card is, um, her appearance is very eccentric, okay? So definitely breaking out of the mold. What else? I'm planning on reaching out to you soon. Doing dark magic in the middle of the night. I do not want to go back to the to who I was before. You are the love of my life. You make me want to be better. I want to be happy with you. They're mad because you're paying them no attention or no mind. I cannot be apart from you much longer. Would you still want me after all of this? Please accept my apology so we can move on past this. Okay, and then let's get one more, please. Let's get, give me one more energy, please. Okay. Okay, they're like, no, you're getting three. Um, this cell event keeps coming out. So a lot of you guys are, um, maybe this is part of your guys' vision, um, one of your guys' goals. Um, could just be single, celibate, not having sex, waiting for the right person waiting for um, marriage, maybe. Somebody could be under investigation. The celibate's been coming out a lot. Something in July. So something could be coming up for you in July. I've been setting boundaries in my life lately. I don't owe you shit. Somebody's like, I don't owe you shit. A third party situation is ending. So maybe this is a third party that thought that you owed them something. But somebody's like, I don't owe you shit. 
Okay, copycat. We got a copycat here. Okay, nice. Um, not nice, but this is interesting. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Karmic made me believe you were evil. I bet you now you're seeing the karmics was evil. I feel like somebody's seeing that. Your karmic told you somebody was evil because maybe they're evil. They didn't want you to see that they were evil. <laughs> we had evil intentions, evil spirited. Okay, spirit, show me this, please. Karmic made me believe you were evil. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they didn't want you to see. Um, they were betraying you, stabbing you in the back. This is somebody that's feeling like a victim to circumstances. Could have been a lot of um, playing with your mind. Somebody definitely crossed you, crossed the line, and I feel like it's been way too many times. This is an end of a situation here. Um, for some of you guys, you could be attached to somebody dealing with some sort of emotional or mental breakdown. There's an end of a tough, mentally frustrating situation here though. Whoever's karmic this is, this could definitely be your person's karmic or this could be a karmic you guys share um, together, you and your twin, twin flame, soulmate. Um, for those of you guys who are new, if you guys have been subscribed, just skip forward. Um, there's a lot of new people that do come in. So if you guys are new, my this channel, the readings I do are... Um, based around the twin flame journey soulmate journey okay just throwing that out there so if you hear me talk about twin flames a lot soulmates that's karmics this is what I'm, this is what it is okay yeah your karmic page of swords reversed i haven't used this deck in a while wow you're learning now that this karmic this is somebody that only said that so that you wouldn't see their deception you wouldn't see their lies you wouldn't see them tricking you okay this karmic is um, definitely somebody who has been watching you like I said I seen um, somebody was under investigation for some of you guys this could be this karmic under investigation but they're definitely watching spying for ill intentions and it looks like um to hurt you or to betray you this person this is somebody that's been watching analyzing you studying you for a while karmic made me believe you were evil give me some more okay and then we have temperance could be dealing with the sagittarius yeah you're somebody this is a twin flame card is how i read this one you are somebody that's um, very focused on your spiritual journey, spiritual awakening. Show me this energy, please. I feel like this is a karmic that knows about some sort of spiritual journey, some spiritual healing, or they've been noticing that you've been healing, you've been working on some sort of spiritual growth, tempering your emotions, um, your feelings, tempering the mind. Tell us more about this temperance. Show me this karmic. Make somebody think somebody was evil. They could have been trying to make you think your twin flame was evil is what it feels like. They just don't want you to see the fact they're evil. <laughs> temperance. Okay, just sort of reverse. You are protected from all types of harm. Yeah, this person's... Um, could be a stalker, definitely. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and to feel safe. And this is what this is with this temperance energy. Show me this karmic page of swords reversed. Mm -hmm. So this could have been about you, Divine Feminine, or whoever's in this um, Empress energy. You could definitely be a mother. You're somebody very sensual. You could be changing your, your outer appearance. This just feels very like Taurus-y, Libra energy. Somebody very attractive, very nurturing. 
very grounded, very down to earth. This is somebody who um, is very unconditionally loving too. You're helping, this is having, happening at a subconscious, energetic, and mental level. I feel like you're helping balance out um, your masculine counterparts. You balancing, on, balancing out your own energy is helping your divine counterpart balance out their their energy too. For this, for some of y'all, this could be your divine counterpart or your soulmate twin flame watching you, studying you. Um, this person, they feel like you guys both were betrayed, though. They feel like you guys both were a stab in the back. Um, show me more about this page of swords reversed. It's like all eyes are on this Empress energy. Okay, and then we have the King of Wands. So this could be your Divine Masculine. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, Libra, Taurus. Mmm. Yeah, you got your, your Divine Masculine. Um, I feel like you've helped this divine masculine master themselves spiritually mainly this is a lot of spiritual growth here is this divine is this king of wands going towards a empress energy it's like you're attracting without even having to lift a finger is um you're attracting a masculine energy to you You're motivating um, some masculine energy, King of Wands. This person could have been afraid of change in the past. And then we have the Queen of Wands too, right behind there. Two of Cups. Yeah, you guys share a strong emotional spiritual connection. Even if you guys are not speaking, even if you guys are not talking, um, or there's lack of communication, somebody's getting ready to make some sort of change after stagnating after being fears having fears of making change or transforming or ending a connection with a karma it could be dealing with a scorpio also i feel like this is somebody ending a connection with a um karmic and whoever made this person believe you were evil because of whatever spiritual gifts you do have um that's you've got this strong divine feminine energy that this karmic just doesn't possess i feel um this was uh, just a way to get this king of wands or your masculine counterparts energy off of you off of your energy okay okay give me one more and then we're going to move forward to the next energy page of swords reversed this person definitely could have lied a lot on you um divine masculine you could have definitely sabotaged this connection with this empress energy maybe because you didn't um lack of love lack of self-love in the past lack of self-worth not feeling worthy of this unconditional love from this empress but you guys are being reminded all the power that whatever has been harming whatever harm whatever type of harm looks like from a karmic is is the worst is now behind you guys it is now safe to relax it's safe to feel safe so this is spiritual maturity. You could be an athlete or be into sports, very competitive. Show me this page of swords reversed in regards to a karmic. Um, whoever was making somebody, trying to make somebody think somebody else was evil. <laughs> page of swords reversed. You betrayed me again. And there's the betrayal. Um, this... Karmic could definitely be mentally unstable, could have accused you of being mentally unstable, um, gossiped a lot about you, but this is all just to, it feels like this has been, it's a deflection, it's to deflect away from the reality of whoever this karmic is. You betrayed me. All that I have ever known is now gone from my life. Please understand changes yeah here's the changes changes everything in my life is changing right now so this they're making changes 
If you are a divine feminine energy, empress energy, do not chase your mount. Do not chase your masculine counterpart. Do not. Don't. Okay. Just be patient. This is a, this is all about patience. Also with this temperance energy, let the energy shift. Let these karmic cycles close out. Um, the more you focus on yourself, self love, this is naturally going to attract this masculine energy to you, and it's going to make this person feel driven um, towards you. Um, and masculine, you guys are focused too on your own self love, ambitions, goals. Yeah, I'm picking up somebody's very in some competitive energy. The spark is lit. This is like all eyes on this Empress energy. Um, you guys could be buying a new home, and they're also letting me know for some of you guys, um, your home is being watched over, your home is being protected. Okay. So somebody was betrayed. So let's move forward. 